Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. In this video we're going to create a card with Dancing in the Rain from the Out and About collection by Spellbinders. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders and other companies. There's links below this video for you to click on. When you do that and place an order I do receive a small commission and that's at no cost to you. Thank you so much for all your support. Okay, so I have my brick a uh, stencil out here. I got this from Lawn Fawn and a piece of white cardstock, Nina White cardstock. I get that from Amazon. That's listed below also. And it is um, five by three and three quarter. So I want to use my new distress inks that I got, these little cubes, and this is Crackling Campfire. So I'm going to make a little brick wall. This is my thought with this card. I don't know. We'll see how it comes out. So I'm just going to make little brick wall. You should have, everybody should have a brick stencil in your craft stash. It makes a beautiful background. Wait till you see. So much fun. I'm kind of going, instead of round and around, I'm seeing that back and forth is a little better so I don't lift my stencil. I have it down on my silicone mat here from scrapbook.com, but I also have it taped in the corners, just for a little added stability there. Let's see what we get. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? So let's go ahead and I'll just put my little ink away here. I'm having a lot of fun with that, those new Distress inks that I purchased. Look at how pretty that is, right? And I thought that this would be kind of fun for a, um, a Dancing in the Rain. Now this Dancing in the Rain does dance. The little legs right here have a hole and we'll put a pop dot in there and then they'll go back and forth. So here's what I thought. I'm going to back that with some black on some on um, the card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, but it will also work on a top folding card that's eleven by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. I just happen to like side folds, I don't know. So that's just me. So let's go ahead and glue this together. I just use this. Oh my. Okay. Back in a second. Let me unclog it. Okay. Let's see. I just ran a pin down through it. There we go. I just used it in my last video, but who knows. I've been having fun with this Out and About collection. Uh, Spellbinders had sent me, basically, I believe, the entire collection. So that's why you guys are getting like a whole block of different, you know, different videos with every single one of them. And now we'll glue this on our card base. And I just wanted to finish the collection out before I moved on to something else. I also have, I just received it yesterday, Christmas in July behind me. And I'm just so excited, but I'm afraid even to look at it because I'll want to start playing with it. And I really have a lot of other things to get to first. Okay, so here's my background on my card. So that's fun, right? That came out really nice. Okay, let's talk about our dies here just like we always do. Um, here is the umbrella. And these two do this umbrella. Plus this little thing here is the middle of the umbrella. And where is that on, what die is that? That's on the little boot die right here. So there this, that is. Now, these little pieces fit in here basically perfectly. I just chose blue, light blue, and dark blue for her umbrella. And just kind of fit them where they fit. You know, but they're perfect because they're etched eyes and the lines are already there for you. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, that came out adorable. So let's go ahead and put some glue. Now 
Now I've not worked with this before. You, you're seeing me do it for the very first time on camera. I'm getting really brave with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> of course you saw that with, and I keep referring back to poor little Dottie's, um, the Disco Dottie Dalmatian, where I put her skates on wrong. But again, you know, it happens. Just like that. Then this one. And then this one. See where it has the, the lines? So you can tell. It's like a puzzle. I, I say this all the time. I love puzzles, so I love to paper piece. Just like that. Now I believe this little thing goes right here. And, it, and I did this out of silver glitter cardstock. Just like that. Cute! Okay, so that's the umbrella. I made my water out of the glitter cardstock also, and I made that blue. So we'll put that down in a few minutes. And now, let's see, I did her like little rain slicker in a an orange. And this is actually going to go something like that. You could turn it if you want, however that you want. I'm going to put it, I think I'll put it like that. And... Um, now there, uh, there's uh, the little boots. I made those silver, so I th uh, out of the glitter cardstock. So let's put those on her feet. Just like that, cute, adorable. And now, like I want her little legs out like this. And I want to put a pop dot right about there. So I have these round ones from scrapbook.com. And I don't know if these are going to be too big. You have to have a little play in it. But then again, it can't be too small either. Put that right in the center there. And her legs are going, oh no, that's good. Her legs will swing a little bit. They, they can move back and forth. It is just about this perfect size. A little smaller may, might be a little bit better, but my little ones, are, I believe, are too little. So there's the swinging legs, okay? And I'm going to be happy with that. So let me, let me bring my card base in. Okay, so we went through the boots and like that. So her little dancing legs. Let me bring my water in here. I think I'll put it right about there. like that and then this will just come right here in the water and her legs swing cute and then her little umbrella comes right here absolutely adorable so let's go ahead and put some I'll just use these round dots for this too while I've got them out mine as well right and I believe I'm going to leave this down here kind of free of dots so that it can kind of sit on her, the back there, just like that. Okay? Now, it comes with a little cute little duck. So these are, this is her rain slicker. These are the legs. We, I have some raindrops right over here that I will add in just a second. But it comes with this cute little duck. Now this duck, again, the beak has like a landing place right here. So if you put the beak on first, you're going to get a little orange eye. So I want to have a black little eye. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue.
and then another little dot back here and I'm going to put its little beak on maybe just like that cute here are the little legs so right here now this looks a little confusing okay but this is the legs with the boots and then its little beak so let's put these little legs on right there I'll put a little glue here And then the little boots come together on this one right here where it has the wing and the hat. Oh my gosh, the hat, the little rain hat is so cute. So little boots are together, okay? And I did those in that, in some, it's almost like a peridot color, light green, whatever you want to call it. And we'll put that right there. So see, even the duck has rain boots just like there and then I did the little wing in the same color as the boots just to make it a little different and I'm going to put her wing right up here and she has a little yellow tail sticking out that's so adorable right and she's going to go right here so I want to put a little circle on there is that too big? I don't think so I think that'll fit cute you know we don't want to see it so I want her right there in the water also and then look at this stinking cute little rain hat I did it in silver and I'm gonna pop it right on her head I mean I don't know is it a her cute little duck you can't beat that oh my goodness isn't that adorable so there, those, that's the dancing in the rain and the little leg swing. Now I want to put some raindrops and I want to look. I cut, um, the raindrops are right here. You get four. So I cut a bunch of them. Oh, let's see, my raindrops upside down because the big part is at the bottom. So let me just place them where I want and then we'll put some glue. And you could put some on the umbrella. Let's put this one on the umbrella. Bring this one down a little bit. I don't know. Maybe we could put them on the umbrella. That looks cute, right? So I just cut, I think I cut about 16 of these. We don't have to use all, that looks cute right there, right? Let's do this. Kind of like raindrops keep falling on my head, right? That song. I have a wet umbrella. Let's move that one to the center there. I don't want to make like a circle of these, okay? I want them kind of scattery. I mean, they're in a circle, but I don't want to make another circle because the umbrella is a circle. Put a couple right there. Put one in here. Right? I gotta look through the camera. Do I like it? I like it. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these down. And you can put them, like I say, you can put them wherever you want, angle them, whichever way you want. Let's do that one going the other way. That way. And let's put this one out about here. Now bring that one in. Now let's put this one out further. Nothing's written in stone, is it? Here. There. 
absolutely adorable. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was so much fun to put together. Look how cute she looks. And her legs move like she's dancing in the rain on her little puddle. Absolutely adorable. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. I totally forgot to put a sentiment. I'm using this one right here, You're the Best, I think. I don't know. I think that one's too big. Let's see. What else do I have over here? I have a little high. Well, that's adorable. Let's use that. I've already got this in a, you know, something that I've already um, glimmered. And we'll just use that. Yeah, I was going to use this one, but there's really, you know, like I don't want to take away from it, and I don't want to put it, well, I don't know, I could put it right there. Let's see. Hold up here before we just use high. I really wanted you're the best. Let me look through the, no, I don't, we're going to use high, okay. We're going to use high. I took the picture for it, um, for Spellbinders, and I was like, wait, I don't have a sentiment on it. So let's go ahead with this. We'll just put that right there. And then, I think I've got a little sliver here. Yes, that will actually work. Here. Shop your stash. Let's put that right there. Perfect. Now that looks cute. Okay. Thanks again for watching and now I'll see you next time.